Hello, I am Cordley NYE, the son of the wonderful. Welcome back to another uh, brand new uh, vlog. Um, we are going to be discussing about um, so many things. And um, before we um, introduce our discussion, I will um, I encourage you to like this video, share, subscribe, and also go to the comment section and drop a nice piece for us and we will continue from there so first of all let us just uh, look at this uh, video it's a reaction video uh, credit to the source and um, uh, after that we now introduce our topic and then um, we will um, journey into that uh, discussion and i do believe that these discussions and uh, will actually find you in a very good mood because i know that a lot of people are waiting for good news and good news is what we are going to bring but wait stay tuned and let's come back and do justice to that i am so cordially nye the son of the wonderful That's the city of Mewi, Anambra State, Nigeria. Yes, that's the piece of the information we want to discuss, the, the dualization and construction of Mwago Agolo to Newe Road has been approved by the Anambra State Executive Council. Welcome back. I am so cordially NYA, the son of the wonderful. Thank you for always um, spending your time to watch us and... Um, those that recently subscribed, you're all welcome to this family. And what are we discussing? There is always a time for everything. A time of joy, a time of great excitement. That's what is about to hit a particular city. That was um, for many years abandoned, forgotten, in spite that this city is a city that lays the golden egg, or one of the cities that lay the golden egg, not just for Anambra State, but for Nigeria, with a lot of prominent men and women of timber and caliber, the likes of uh, Chief Cletus Ibeto, the great man, and one of the richest men in Nigeria and Africa. You have also Innocent Chukuma. Innocent, Chief Innocent Chukuma. The great man. One of the most popular men in Nigeria. And you have so many of them. 
I can always call just a few. Billionaires or trillionaires, whatever you call them. But it's very sad that the city which these great men come from has been left in a, in a shadow of itself. Many governors, many presidents, many governors of Anambra State and president of Nigeria abandoned the city. No real push to bring about total turnaround of the city. And there are a lot of our cries, business stagnating, loads of things happening. But what are we about to hear will amaze you, the great listener. Some time ago, we break the news uh, last year. There was a plan that the governor is about to award this contract. The contract of dualization on Newi Road from Wago Agro in Anyocha local government of Anambra State to Newi. And when we say that, some of the people said, you start again, you affect news and all those things. I told them that I have a credible source about that. And I also told them why it might not come immediately. I told them that the road supposed to end in Okija, in Ihiala local government area, by Ozobro in Ekusigo local government, uh, local government of Anambra State. There was a protest by the Ozobo community that why not complete uh, or include them in the whole process. And the governor listened to their protest and said, okay, although we have finished the design from Wago to Newi, uh, Adazinoku, uh, Neni, uh, Nobi, and Newi Road. We are going to include Ozobro, Okija, to Onicha Owere Road. And he directed the, uh, the Ministry of Works, uh, min uh, Commissioner of Works, uh, led by uh, uh, Okuma, Mr. Okuma, to do something uh, on that, to design, to include the Ozobo session of the whole road, which we also explain in this channel, telling you that this is what is at stake, this is what is coming. But in spite of that, lots of people have uh, been talking that, uh, oh, nothing is going to happen in Newe, blah, 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 the governor. And in one of the, uh, I was invited on um, one of the channels to speak about uh, the issue and uh, I spoke uh, passionately telling them that I have a credible source that uh, Governor Chukuma Soludo, Charles Chukuma Soludo, popularly known as Wambafo, you may hate him, you may love him, will turn out to be one of the greatest governors in Anambra State history, or even the greatest. And in terms of road infrastructure, and in terms of proper development of Newe, which Newe has not witnessed before. And I said to them that they are, they are, I got my source, some of them were questioning, do you, are you sure what you are saying? I said, Newe will receive a mega transformation under this present uh, regime. They said, oh, why is he not doing it? Why is he focusing on Ecuador? And I say, wait and see that he's coming. And some of them say, hallelujah. So, but a lot are still not believing what I'm saying. So I stood uh, in another one. I was invited in one of the uh, channel also to speak. Uh, because I've been have receiving some people inviting me for life to contribute in their destiny because of our passionate, uh, 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 you know, endeavor to see that our homeland is developed. And I spoke and said, look, this is coming and this is going to come. And uh, just some few hours, we now received the information that finally the Executive Council of Anambra State has finally approved the construction of this road. 
And now, our piece of advice to this is we have watched the hyped, uh, you know, the hyped uh, super highway from Amobia to Ekulobia to Oga Imo border, where it will be a super highway. But a lot of us started doubting about it because what we saw and what was advertised wasn't what people were expecting. Because people were expecting a really super highway. A highway not, not less than six lanes. That's three this side, three this side. And which should make provision for rail. So, but that's not what is being done at the moment. So, our candidate advice also in this uh, uh, dualization of Ne, we had it will be uh, four lane roads is to take this opportunity once again to open up the place to open up the place either you make it six lane or four lane that is more wider than what is being done in amobia ekulobia oga highway or dualization so or even make a provision once and for all for the rail line or tram line. This will save us the hassle because as this road is, immediately this road is completed, within the next two or five years, there will be another outcry that there is massive traffic and a massive hold up. What will the Anambra State government and the people do again. Will they start to demolish a second round of buildings along this corridor? Let's make hair while the sun shines because it's very important for us to take this advantage. Take this advantage now instead of leaving it later. What you must realize from this is that finally Newe is going to be remembered. I don't know what's your opinion. Please drop your own comment to this. Uh, and your sweet comments. Your comments are very, very valid in this channel. Thank you once again for joining us. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I am still called the NYE, the son of the wonderful. Wherever you are, have a wonderful time. Bye and see you in the next vlog. God bless you. Bye.